If the president, your commander in chief, fails, America fails. Now, when a senator says that this will be his Waterloo, and we all know what happened at Waterloo, then we have him and he fails. Do we want a fail state called the United States? So remember, they are spreading fear and they're trying to see that the first president who looks like me fails. Now just understand what's at the bottom line. And you know, we just got 48 hours ago, I just got back from, we were in Beijing, China, we were in Hong Kong, China, we were in Taiwan, we were in Guam, we were all over the Far East. And I want you to know, people look at the United States as a country that has changed its way and has elected someone from Kenya and Kansas. I'll put it like that. <laughs> and they're saying, we thought you would never do that. So we don't want to have this young man, and he just turned 48. We want him to succeed because when he succeeds, we regain our status. We regain our status. It was just mentioned to be by our esteemed speaker, did anyone say anything about the Cuban health system? And let me tell you, before you say, oh, it's coming, you need to go down there and see what Fidel Castro put in place. And I want you to know, now, you can think whatever you want to about Fidel Castro, but he was one of the brightest leaders I have ever met. And you know, the Cuban Revolution that kicked out the wealthy, Che Guevara did that. And then after they took over, they went out among the population to find someone who could lead this new nation. And they found, well, just leave it there, <laughs> an attorney by the name of Fidel 